What's going on guys? It's Jake. Today I have a little bit more of a serious video for you guys because I've been seeing this pop up in my comment section and you know just in conversations with people and it seems to be like this idea is kind of starting to come out and I don't think it's true so let's talk about it. Now, of course you're like Jake what are you even talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is, is Beyblade dead? Or rather, what I'm seeing in comments and stuff is that Beyblade is dead. Not even a, is it or if is it not, just that it straight is gone. Now, I of course think this is not true, but I do see the reasons why people think this way, so I'm gonna go into them a little bit. First reason is that Views across multiple channels, including mine, are down. Now, I don't like talking about YouTube stuff at all because it really doesn't matter. What matters most is just making videos for you guys, but I will say, and there are other people that will co-sign with me, that views across the board have dropped. Now, I think this is normal. It's just kind of how YouTube is. Sometimes YouTube does makes a small change and like that it could drop, but typically it'll always go back up again. This time last year, I had the same thing and then as soon as Beyblade Burst Evolution came out, everything just got way better and I started growing really, really fast. Like I was getting like 9,000 subs a month, which is huge. I was also a lot smaller back then. I think I was at like 70 or 80,000 subs, which is still a lot, but compared to almost 140 now, I was definitely a lot smaller back then. Another thing I see is that y'all aren't interested in Beyblade anymore, which also isn't true. Um, I mean, some of you guys, maybe you don't like it as much, and that's just kind of how it is. You get into something, and then after a while, you get bored of it. But I think there's a reason why it seems like y'all aren't as interested in Beyblade right now. Now, recently I did a poll asking if you guys actually watched this, the raw Japanese series, uh, Chozetsu, no subtitles or anything. And it's about what I expected. It's a ma large majority of you guys um, have seen it. No. And the results are about what I expected. Most of you, like a large majority of you, have not seen any of it or you just watch clips online. And then some of you actually do watch the show. Uh, it's like 60 or 70% to 30%, something, something like that. Now this is about to get really technical really quick, but I'm about to tell you why I think that Beyblade right now is kind of in a little bit of a lull. Um, what that means is that why it's kind of low right now, it's kind of meh, but I think it's going to take off, or I hope it's going to take off, and here are the reasons why. Number one, Beyblade Burst Chozetsu introduced a lot of new characters and also kind of retired old ones. For example, Jaka or Xander in the US version, um, at least right now, I don't know if it'll change, there are kind of rumors that he'll come back, but as of right now, he is no longer the owner of Excalibur. The main series Excalibur is now owned by Jean Bogard or something like that. New Fafnir, Geist Fafnir, I think it has been shown that Free is going to be the owner, especially because of what's going on in the series right now, but it's still not confirmed. It could be just a brand new person. Now, I'm mentioning these new characters because there's a lot of people, me included, I grew to like, you know, Xander or like Free because of, you know, them being in the show for quite a bit of time. And they're such interesting characters. But when you kind of just get rid of them and bring in a new character that nobody really knows, and because of the fact that it's all in Japanese, I can understand it, and 99% of you guys will, oh, can't understand it either. So you can't really be hyped or, oh wow, it's a new Excalibur, when you don't really know the character. Like, to be honest, I really like Luinor because I like Louie. I like Spryzen because, or Spriggan, because that's, you know, it's a good bay, but also I think Shu is a really awesome character. But I am, um, I wasn't extremely hyped for Buster Excalibur or nearly as much as I would have been if they still had Jaka as the owner versus this new guy, Jean Bogard. 
Will I come to like Jean once I actually watch Beyblade Burst Turbo? Once, you know, he comes into it later next year? Oh yeah, most likely. But as of right now, I'm assuming a lot of you guys, and me included, are kind of more meh about these new bays because the, you don't really know the characters. Another thing is that we are, I think, dead in the middle of Chozetsu right now, or I think we're, we're heading towards the end, but I still think we're more to the middle of the show, and we're reaching the end of evolution, which this, this matters quite a bit because really besides like a couple of sets and maybe like one or two Beyblades, we're kind of done with Beyblade Burst Evolution. There really aren't any more toys coming out, new tops coming out, besides, you know, Kalzar and Balkesh, and then the Ultimate Contender set, and there's like two other sets that I can't remember. But in terms of just main bays, we're really about done. So there aren't really a lot of Hasbro stuff to be super hyped for for the next like month or even these past like two months. There really hasn't really, there hasn't really been a lot. Sprise and Requiem and Luinor's Wave, Wave 4 was definitely the peak. Um, they did really well on my channel. They did well on, I think, everybody's channel because everybody likes Luinor and everybody likes Sprise and that's for sure. But we're still waiting for Turbo. So as of right now, Hasbro stuff is just kind of in a dead zone. You know, the show is, you know, heating up and coming to its conclusion, but we still don't really have anything new coming out. And then for Burst Chozetsu, we're in the middle of the series. So Beyblade, just from what I can see, Beyblade is already is always really hyped at the beginning of the series because that's when we get new bays, we get the new system, we get, you know, we get to see how they're gonna do the whole season. And then maybe there's like one or two big releases in the middle. Um, the big releases, I think, being Revive Phoenix and um, Geist Fafnir, if it's owned by free. If it's owned by free, it'll be pretty big. But we're not gonna be really getting anything major for Chozetsu until December, maybe November, but December and January. I, I think you guys are starting to kind of catch on now. Beyblade burst in the US, we're kind of in a lull because Turbo starts in December-ish, November, December, January. And then Chozetsu, the middle of the series is kind of boring has a lot of bays that not really a lot of people care about until we get to the end of the series towards, you know, January-ish is when we're going to get hopefully really awesome Beyblades. So really, just to summarize, because I don't want to make this video too ridiculously long, no, I don't think Beyblade is dead. Do I think that it's kind of like, like this? Yeah, I think evolution is definitely going to be the peak. Um, it was massive, and I think Turbo, unless it just blows up or Hasbro does a lot of marketing or something, I do think it's going to be a little bit below Evolution, but is Beyblade dead? No. We'll have a lot of, oh my gosh, a lot of insane, insane stuff coming in November, December, and January. Those are going to be really amazing months. After that, I really don't know, but November, December, January... We're going to be getting a lot of really cool stuff. And if Hasbro steps up their game a little bit, if you're watching this, Hasbro, someone from Hasbro, please up your marketing budget or, or something. Maybe do a Nintendo Switch game. I'm telling you, you're on the cusp of like making it like massive, like boom. But you got to try harder. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this really kind of ranty but pretty serious video. I've just been wanting to talk about it for a while and kind of talk with you guys about it. Now, what do you think? Do you think Beyblade is dying or do you think Beyblade's already dead? Or are you like me and think it's kind of in just kind of a medium floating point until we get into some major stuff at the end of the year in the beginning of 2019? Also, a little side note. The Beyblade Burst app was actually pushed. Um, its support was at first the very end of 2019. Now it's been pushed into June of 2020. So we at least know that all of Beyblade Burst Turbo and then Extra is going to be supported by Hasbro. Hopefully we'll see another season, but I really don't know. But I'll see you guys next time, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and tell me, of course, what you guys think down below. But I'll see you guys next time. Have fun.
Bayway.